Today on NCIX Tech Tips, we have a very new, very unique product. We've got the Corsair Flash Voyager port. And what's unique about this is it's a one-touch backup solution that works with a USB flash drive as opposed to a hard drive like all other backup solutions. We'll talk about the advantages. Stay tuned. So we're still kind of getting around to what is the point of this product? The point is it works with any USB flash drive, although it does go best with the Corsair Flash Voyager. As you can see, it's all color coordinated and stuff. Very cool. But the advantage is that instead of buying an expensive one-touch backup hard drive, you can just grab one of these. Then all you have to do is with no power brick or anything, you just plug it in by the USB port. After you've installed the Nova backup software, which is included with the Voyager port, it costs like 50 bucks to buy on its own. And then you have your configuration, you just press the button every time and it'll resync your files. You can put this in a safety deposit box, you can hide it away somewhere, your data is safe compared to a hard drive. Now Corsair's marketing for the Voyager port focuses on the Flash Voyager line of products, but honestly, I think the more compelling lineup is the Survivor products because that's what this is all about, keeping your data safe. Now the Survivor, is, Corsair claims, is incredibly rugged, waterproof, etc., etc. We will be putting it through the paces. You can see here we've got identical files, my Rome Total War save games, and my, my precious memories of my uh, sample photos from Windows XP, so we have them copied on both a two and a half inch external hard drive and on a Survivor flash drive. We're going to run it through the, uh, through the paces with drop tests, water tests, all kinds of good stuff. Stay tuned. So for our first completely unnecessary act of destruction, we will be throwing these uh, drives against the wall here at our warehouse. So uh, see how high we can get them up. Okay, that didn't go well. Hmm. Okay, that... Uh, did not go as planned. It seems the survivor has not survived. Well, we'll do the drive anyway. <laughs> okay, so let's pick up the pieces here. So let's survey the damage here. Our uh, external hard drive lost a chunk here, and it's also all beat up now. And uh, the survivor actually lost an end, but I think it's going to make it anyway because it's still all attached and flash memory is extremely robust. So we're going to keep going with our battery of tests here. Okay, so here I am uh, trying to figure out how to drive the cameraman's beamer. And uh, okay, cameraman, uh, I'll get you to uh, go in the back there and check out these drives that we're about to reverse over. So uh, let me know if any problems. Here we go. Okay, uh, the cameraman says that uh, we have successfully run over the drive, so we're going to give it to him one more time. Here we go, one, two, I felt that one. <laughs> Phase two of our damage report, you can see that the back of the drive is quite beat up, and uh, it's even harder to get the cap of the survivor to stay on now, but there's absolutely no deformation of the uh, airplane grade aluminum that they've used to construct this thing. So. It might just be a matter of gluing that back on and we've got ourselves a working drive again at the end of the day. Okay, so last we've got the water test. We will be submerging both of these drives. One, two, in some pretty disgusting swamp water for 10 minutes. And we will come back and retrieve them later. Okay, so we put this big clump of plant on top of it because we realized walking away from here that uh, someone could potentially steal these and whether they work or not we want to be able to show our conclusion here so I'm just gonna you know reach down and oh that's a little further than it looked okay so the hard drive is out of the water now and the survivor is likewise so I'm gonna wash up and then we'll dry these out and see if we can get any data off them drive number one here we go Corsair Survivor. Oh, if it even fits in a port anymore. Oh, yeah, there we go. I had it uh, backwards. So let's see if that gets detected by the computer. The light is flashing. That's a good sign. And open folder to view files. The cameraman is signaling something. I don't know what he's on about. But either way, there we have it. My Rome Total War save games are safe. 
along with my precious family memories. Now, next up is the external hard drive. So now we've got our generic uh, two and a half inch external drive and it's pretty beat up, you know, a little worse for the wear, but otherwise looks not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and see what's kicking in here. Okay, so far it is not detected by our test computer. I do hear it spinning up now though. That's a good sign. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure that this guy is going to be detected here. Nope, it looks like our two and a half inch drive did not survive our battery of tests. Uh, I can't really show it to you on the screen, but it's not popping up with the found new hardware wizard or anything like it did before. So there we have it. In conclusion, flash storage is more robust than magnetic storage and is a great way to back up your most essential data. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips. Okay, off camera while we were cleaning up, actually the drive was detected by the found new hardware wizard. And if I can get the cameraman to check it out, one of the USB devices attached to this computer has malfunctioned and Windows does not recognize it. So there it is, unknown USB device. The drive is dead, folks. Thank you for watching NCIX Tech Tips.